All right, here we have a video put out by the BBC. You can see up here the BBC about uh, hate preachers, and um, it features Stephen Anderson. I'm going to be making some comments here, but I'm going to zip through. Uh, you know, it shows different things about him and whatever, and of course he's making all these wild remarks and everything else. The guy, I mean, even if you're for Stephen Anderson, you have to admit that he's a media whore. Any chance that he can get to get in front of the cameras, uh, he'll do it. Um, but we'll go here to right around the 24-minute mark. Um, he's talking about people calling and um, leaving weird messages and things, threatening things like this. So let's listen to this. I get hundreds, and then other days I might just get a handful. There's a steady trickle of hate, of hate mail and, and hateful voicemails. But then whenever something is in the media or on TV or something, then there will just be a flood of a few hundred in one day. So, I can Yeah, so in other words, see, he likes this attention, this negativity that comes in. And uh, why? Well, because as I've been saying for years now, he's a disinformation agent. Um, you know, all there's all this negativity and everything else, and all these we get a big flow in when I give it, whenever I get a TV interview or something like this. That's his job, you see. He thrives on this stuff. But let me go forward here. This is rather interesting. Uh, this one scene coming up here. Now this is very very telling right here. I believe that the the reason for this documentary is to make Bible believing Christians look really bad. But watch this little propaganda piece coming up here. A violent predator came and did something to me or my family. Okay. Let me pause it there. They cut to the scene of a Bible, okay? And then they cut back to scenes of Ander Snake and he's sitting there and whatever else and they cut to scenes of his family and whatever else. But notice supposedly sitting on his shelf here I guess they show off to the side and sh sitting on his shelf is a local church Bible publisher's King James Bible. Now why does the BBC have to cut to a picture of this? Hmm? Oh, but uh, here's the really interesting thing. Stephen Anderson's Repentance Blacklist. This is an old video I did. Let me show you here. The Blacklist, well-known offenders, local church Bible Publishers, Lansing, Michigan. Right there. Stephen Anderson had them on his blacklist. You say, why are you showing this old video? Because the website's been taken down. I've been exposing this and other people have been exposing this repentance blacklist now for a long time. They took the website down. Why? Stephen Anderson still stands against repentance to salvation, repenting of sins and things. He still stands against it. Why take the blacklist down? Right here it is, though. It's been captured and way back in March 2013 I exposed this thing. What about that? Local Church Bible Publishers is part of the blacklist, and yet there's one of their Bibles. They're showing it. Now, either Stephen Anderson is a hypocrite, he condemns them in one, you know, he'll condemn them, and then he purchases from them. Either that's hypocrisy or this is all part of the psychological operation here the psyop what's going on very interesting but let's look here this one gets really interesting here at about 38 minutes in he gets done with his little girly session here screaming like a little child and uh, he goes outside and out now listen to what they do this is again classic propaganda. They're combining different things to demonize Bible-believing Christians. Check this out. Hey, look, whatever fight the devil wants to bring me, bring it on. After the service, I caught up with Stephen outside. He seemed pleased with himself. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah. Just got a nice gift, so... I mean, who doesn't want to get an AR-15 as a gift? I mean, that's a cool gift, right? Seriously, was it an AR-15? Yeah, I just got an AR-15 as a gift, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> you see? 
Now, he just, now, well, we'll just play a little bit more. Listen to what the reporter says. Fresh from receiving his new assault rifle, Stephen spotted the few remaining protesters. Did you go, did you go say hi to your buddies over here? Okay. Um, fresh, fresh from receiving his new assault rifle. Okay. And first of all, why does he come out? Well, I mean, what's, what's the whole point of this scene here? Why is this filmed? You see, he just gets an AR-15. Somebody just gives him an AR-15 out of the blue. And he says, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Are they getting ready to do some kind of a staged shooting? This is what I've been saying for a long time. They're building up to this. The mainstream media is using this disinformation agent. They are building up to him doing some kind of violent thing or somebody around him connected to his cult there, whatever. You see what I'm saying? This is the process. This is the build-up to this thing. And it's going to come out, oh, you know, these wicked, horrible King James-only people, you know. And here he's confronting this guy that says he's a Bible-believing Christian, which he's not. Uh, there's no way. The guy looks like he's probably a sodomite himself. But uh, <clears throat> listen to what Andrew Snake says, and watch what he does with his hands. When you beat your kids, when you do what you want in sin, it's okay because you're already saved. That's why you're just a cop out. You know what? It's a sin not to beat your kids. It's a sin not to beat your kids. The Bible says, it's, "Thou shalt be." Jesus Christ beat a kid. Thou did shalt Jesus, be. Did Jesus Christ beat kids? Did, no, uh, did, the Bible kid, says, a kid "Thou shalt be." Man, right here. Woman. Do you see it? 666 with both hands. That's an occult hand signal. Okay, let's see if I can show this again. Thou shalt be a man Samaritan right here. Woman. I'm done That's listening. You see? Show it one more time. I so whatever you do when you beat your wife, when you beat your kids, when you do what you want in sin, it's okay because you're already saved. That's why you're just a cop out. You know what? It's a sin not to beat your kids. It's a sin not to beat your kids. The Bible it's, says, "Thou shalt be." Jesus Christ. I mean, look at that. Clear. And he says, "The Bible says, thou shalt beat." He's not even quoting the whole scripture. Proverbs 23, verse 14, Thou shalt beat him with the rod, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. And it's not talking about beating in the sense of bloodying them and destroying them and killing them and things. It's not talking about that. In context, it's saying spanking, the rod of correction. Right? That's what it's talking about. Of course the Lord's not for beating a child to the point of, of them dying or breaking their bones or something like this. But he only quotes one little first part of it there. He doesn't even define what the thou shalt beat means. See, this is all to demonize Bible-believing Christians. But notice the occult hand signs. What is the deal? What's going on? See, this whole thing, especially here at the end, with this laughing, this ghoulish laughter about getting an AR-15, and it's the gift that keeps on giving, they are preparing to stage something with this guy. Trust me, they are going to do it. I mean, it's just like, and, and they, you know, this this goofy documentary shows these other guys, these professing street preachers, and and these guys are just saying all kinds of very wicked, very vile things, you know, and oh, they're doing it to con, you know, turn people from their sins and stuff. No, both of these groups are are idiots. Definitely. They're not representative of true Bible-believing Christians. But uh, just very, very, very... Again, you know, it goes along with what I was saying in my other video. Let me just click here quickly, because I want to say something else about my other video. About Anderson's uh, PSYOP. Right here. Um, I'm going to do it. Okay. Now, let me just make a point here. A lot of people are saying, you know, well, I did watch the video, and you can see a cloud move and a bird fly and stuff like this, so it can't be a green screen, because I did see the things. Well, I said I don't see anything moving, and I didn't. Right? I didn't sit there and watch the whole thing, because I have better things to do with my time, but okay, if a cloud moved and a bird fly, flew across the, the thing, um, you can still have video 
on a green screen. And to me, it looks cut out. Maybe it's not a green screen, whatever else. But that was not the main point of the video. The main point of the video was the two questions I brought up. Okay, first of all, pause or just mute it here. Okay, why is the BBC, NBC, all these different, you know, mainstream media, why are they all reporting on Anderson? Why are they all reporting on this guy? Why is he being banned from countries, yet he's still on YouTube? Please explain that. Why are they making documentaries? The BBC, why are they making documentaries about this guy? That's the issue. Let's stick with the issue. I know Anders Snake's little uh, active duty zombies uh, that follow him, they're going to be posting comments and you're stupid and you're retarded and you know, they call me all kinds of names, whatever else. Um, and you'll bring, you'll talk about stuff like my comments on the green screen issue. You know, and you'll say, well, it's not a green screen, we saw the cloud move or something like this. Okay, forget that then. Let's just say this is no good. Let's say that, well, I didn't prove anything. All right, why the mainstream media coverage? Why? Why is it, you know, that he is banned from the UK and other countries, but he's still on YouTube? What's going on? All right, just, this is how persecution is going to come. This false prophet, this lying deceiver. And I need to correct something else I said, too, in the past. I said in my one study on eternal security, I said that I think that Anderson could have been saved at one point in time, and then he's lost it and things. No, I was wrong on that. He was never saved. Okay. I'll correct that. I'll, let me fix what I said there. This guy was never saved. He's a total false convert. Or, excuse me, not false convert. He's a false prophet. He's a liar. All right, so uh, just... That's why I keep up with what's going on with this guy because I've been seeing this now for years and years and years. I'm seeing the build up. They're going to do a false flag of some kind or maybe even a real terrorist attack with this guy or people connected to him and it's going to be blamed on all Bible believing Christians. Right? So we need to pray about this brethren. We need to continue to distance ourselves from this liar, this deceiver and uh, just make it very plain that we are not part of his group. Alright, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.